I actually think I'm outrunning them. Can you beat The Last of Us Part 2 blindfolded? A question I'm sure many people are asking. And with the help of the game's accessibility options, Ostrich, Kabish, and the rest of chat, after 16 hours, we have finally beaten the first half of the game. From these clips, you might see that I'm in fact not blindfolded, and said I just turned the screen off. This way there's no chance I see the screen. And I can still read chat, like the point of a live stream. Like I mentioned earlier, I still need to beat the second half of the game, which I'll be streaming over on Twitch. Link in the description for anyone who's interested in watching live. And make sure to subscribe here on YouTube if you enjoy the video. The start of the game brought the first hurdle, a large open area. And after about an hour of walking into wheelie bins and walls. Did I just hit a wall? I've hit something. And again, and I've hit something else. I finally made it outside of yes. Ellie's bedroom. Only at this point did it seem like a good idea to turn on the game's oh, guiding Maria. system. And within about 20 minutes, I became the first person to unintentionally lose the snowball fight against the kids. Ow! <laughs> We're off to a good start. While the in-game guide made it easier getting from point A to B, it wasn't the best at some things, like jumps and quick turns, and it would just make me kind of walk in circles at times. A few minutes later. <laughs> I think I made it. Once I had made the jump, it took only about an hour and a half of trial and error to make it to the shops, and at this point we decided to change the difficulty down from Survivor to very light, and this turned out to just be way, way too easy. So we decided the, the rest of the game should be played be on moderate. Clicker. And the rest of the opening was actually rather smooth sailing. Wait, no, don't, don't show that. The, moving on. Going into downtown, we had big plans. So we're going to head in. And then we're going to head straight left and then forward. We're going to do the bank. And we're going to get a shotgun. Because I'm not waiting till TV station. Maybe we don't go to the bank. The courthouse was surprisingly easy and with the help of chat we managed to stealth the top floor. Then we blasted our way through the garage with help from the combat accessibility options. So I have the strongest version of aim assist on and what it does is once I aim near an enemy, it will snap to them. Once I'm aiming at the enemy, an audio cue will play and this tells me that I'm able to shoot them. For the melee combat, there is another audio cue that will tell me when I need to dodge and then I just have to tap square to melee them. To help me find the enemies, I have enhanced listening mode on which has two different options. So like listening mode, when I hold down L1, it will show me where the enemies are. As I can't actually see them, if I hold L1 sure and tap dying. square, it will ping Always enemies really within 30 away. meters of me. And if I tap L1 and circle, it will ping collectibles. <laughs> then Line if I press really L3, it will guide me to the closest thing that it has scanned. Unfortunately, I didn't find this out until making this video, so I haven't used it yet. There are also audio one. cues for most things in the game. Next up was the school, and we found that I would need a med kit, so rather than craft it whilst being shot at, we crafted it straight away, and this gave enough time for the enemies to run into the room, and then all I had to do was hold aim, and let auto aim do the rest. Was that... S now I've got to reload. At times, I found it much easier to just run through the fights than to try and shoot my way through, and this does require a lot of luck, but far less skill, so a perfect strategy for me. Just run for it, all right. Running through encounters like this is only possible with the help of the traversal assistance. When I press L3, an arrow oh. will appear on the floor. And if you're wondering how I know where the Let's arrow is since I can't I see it, it, I don't. Instead, the game will change the direction of the camera for me so it faces the same way as the arrow. Am I inside? All I have to do is hold The forward. audio sounds like I'm in a building. It also sounds like Dina is stabbing everyone. It was now time for the trip mines, and whilst playing, we thought that they didn't exist. But upon looking back at the video, 
Some appear to exist and some don't. I think that Puzzle Skip removes them and then guides you around the ones that have been removed. Or at least it guides you around most of them. Yeah, after sprinting through the radio station in the subway, we had a new problem. Shamblers. And after trying my grounded strat of running and placing a bomb, we needed a new plan. plan. It was simple. Walk forward, place the bomb after I hear I drop off the box, then move back into now the far corner the of the box corner. and shoot from there. The plan fell through as soon as I panicked. Just live, Ellie. But I still managed to make it through. I hear the problem. You infected. I think they're all dead. Oh, I'm in. Oh, I thought I jumped the fence. They again. two introduced dogs to the game. Oh god, it's the dogs. It's the dogs. I got something. Get in there. But since I don't actually have to see the dogs, these parts were much easier. Okay, they can definitely aim. Please, Knowing please, that moderate please, please, AI have stormtrooper aim, I was able to slip through the door without taking too much damage. <laughs> In less linear areas, the guide could get a little confused. It works better if you take it slower, but as I could take so many bullets, it wasn't too much of a problem for me, and it was just a matter of time before I got through. Which means we should be able to just run this. And there's no way we haven't got a checkpoint. The second flashback took about 50 minutes, in which we shot at some birds and listened to Tommy talk about how wild physics is. Physics is wild, isn't it? And then we finished off the day, taking out the bloater. The second half of day two started with the stalker fight, which like many other encounters, I was able to sprint by. In the room after the stalkers, luck was on my side and the clicker walked into me so I could grab it once the audio cue had told me it was there. And once it was dead, I could fight the rest of the room and it was much, much easier. Now we had to deal with the Seraphites. The park encounter was cleared after a few attempts of crawling and then sprinting once I was spotted, but the second encounter was met with a lot of death. Oh, I've been grabbed, I'm dead. And I'm dead. Yeah, I'm dead. Definitely dead. I have... And finally, after almost an hour of attempts, I was on track to make it. I had good HP, I was only a few seconds sprint before being done. I made it to the ledge and jumped. I jumped to my death! I got through the hospital with the help of the insane amount of oh checkpoints God, that Moderat has, and some good luck. Uh, anyone else starting to notice a pattern here? I was one crawl away from beating day two, and all I had to do was hold forward and mash triangle. And once the AI started shooting, the clickers would attack them rather than me, and I was free to make it out of the room. I just had to stand up. I made it through. Yeah. The beginning of this day was complete with a couple of sprints, but it was now time for the final wolf encounter in of Ellie's story. Here, I drowned a lot, drowned, got shot a lot, and got even more checkpoints, which meant I could reach the boat with good HP. Am I like right next to it? Oh, for God's sake. All I had to do was start the engine of the boat, but there it was, the thing that had defeated me so many times in the past, the generator minigame. I channeled all of my energy, but still, I fumbled. But just when I thought that all hope was lost, <gasps> now we only had to kill one more bloater, this time without Joel's help. First attempt, I used all my ammo in my shotgun revolver at me, but it wasn't enough. Soon, I was told that I could make a trap mine, and this worked well. So well, in oh fact, no. that oh I no. took myself out along with the bloater. A few attempts later, I had done it again. The bloater was dead, but the runner that spawns in grabbed me, just like runners I always do. It was then that chat realised I could craft one more trap mine. The game had changed. Blow up.
And finally, it was done. I could sail to the aquarium and beat the third day.